Shipman have won the Hero Islands. Hajjabad are the Hero of Indian Super League champions. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of the Let's Football Live Show. Well, listen. Last week was all about the Kolkata derby, the anticipation, the build-up, and then the game lived up to all of that. ATK Mohan Bagan coming out two nil victors against East Bengal FC, sparking scenes of joy and elation across the city, across at least the green and maroon side of the city. It sparked joy and elation on the bench as well, with a certain Juan Fernando celebrating rather vigorously. Uh, so to ask him about the derby, the victory, uh, and everything else that's gone on at his time at ATK Mohan Bagan so far, we're going to be joined by Juan Fernando. Fernando and football expert Eric Partelou on the Let's Football Live. So, gentlemen, please come right in. A very, very warm welcome and good evening to the both of you. Hi, Juan. How are you doing in Kolkata? Yeah, fine, fine. Uh, training sessions, working. It's it's okay at the moment. Everything is okay. Yeah, of course it will be okay. Yeah, uh, your team was victorious on the big derby day. Eric, uh, uh, POV is that you're playing under Juan Fernando as a player. What's your life like? Would you have enjoyed playing under the gaffer? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I absolutely would love that, especially in a big derby game as well. I think uh, when you saw the players getting stuck in there and getting into little niggles and fights and, you know, you could see the, the passion from both sets of players, but the game was played in the right spirit. And obviously I think, you know, the better team won on the night, but it was, it was, it was a close game, but I think it was just great to watch a, a big game in Indian football that lived up to the hype. So it was a tick in both columns. No, absolutely. So now I know Juan that Eric wants to get stuck right in with his questions and he has a lot of them for you. So Eric, take it away. Let's get it started. Yeah, obviously, congratulations, Juan, on the uh, the Derby victory. That was a massive game. Um, can you describe the pressure leading into that game? Um, and when that final whistle went, was it just relief or, you know, pure elation when the, the final whistle went? Uh, you know, uh, the... the, the... It's okay. It's a pressure, but it's it's uh, it's fantastic pressure, you know, because it's uh, of course in my point of view, maybe because me, my mind is more than player like the coach. Uh, when you play in this uh, in this atmosphere, it's, it's amazing, you know. Uh, it's it's perfect because in this moment your motivation is it's it's very high. Uh, I think maybe you know, like a player. Uh, one day before the match, one hour before the match, the last moment in dressing room before the match, uh, these emotions like uh, everybody is ready for the match. It's, it's, it's perfect, you know. Uh, honestly, I'm thinking it's uh, for the player, it's, it's a pleasure when you, when you have uh, these emotions before the match. Yeah, of course, the pressure is because you want to do the best for your team. Do you want to, do, to prepare the, the, the best for your for your team in front of your supporters, you want to win, of course. But, but okay, I think it's not pressure. It's not bad pressure, you know. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, I like this, this, this kind of pressure, you know. It's, I think it's amazing. Yeah, of course, after the match, uh, in case you win, it's, it's, uh, the feelings are very good. <laughs> no, one, you know, I... I... I'd like to ask you about your celebration, Juan. You've celebrated in a very unique way. We haven't seen you do this in the matches. Uh, at least last season, we didn't. Uh, you almost want to take off your shirt like a footballer as if you've scored the goal. Can you can you talk to us about your celebration, please? No, okay, no, I want to explain you. Uh, sometimes, um, uh, honestly, I take bad words. In <laughs> uh, this moment, I prefer to bite my T-shirt <laughs> and don't tell this word, you know? Uh, this is the truth. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. It, it's, uh, but it's, 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 it's for pressure, you know, in this moment it's for pressure when I, when we, uh, we, we accept that the action is good. Uh, for example, I'm, I'm happy when the, uh, the actions, uh, the goals, uh, for example, like the, the goal of Kauko in Kerala, in Kochi, uh, the, the, the goal of uh, Dimitris, when, when the team uh, knows about the, the spaces or when the team knows the control, or we practice this situation in the last training and the, we take the goal is from his, uh, <laughs> is my reaction. Yeah, I know, I know. The second goal, I prefer to be behind of the bench because <laughs> I, <laughs> but maybe Patalu maybe Patalu knows about uh, what's happening right now. But, uh, okay, okay, yeah. do, do, do you relate to that, Eric? Have you ever been in a situation where you, you're so happy on the pitch that you almost have to stop yourself from going a little overboard? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, I didn't score that many goals in my career, obviously, but when you do, I think you lose your mind. Like one explain there, that's what the beauty of football is. You, you, you score a goal. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to celebrate. Your mind goes blank, but your emotions just go through the roof. And it's it's great to see you like that one. It's it's a pleasure watching you. You coach your team. It's good. Yeah, you know who? Some something that just came to my mind. If you saw an opposition manager celebrating like that, what would you, what would your reaction be? Yeah, mine. Oh yeah. Oh. But uh, it's a uh, this moment. It's. <laughs> Cool to explain for me is uh, sometimes because, okay, you know, I'm very f- frustrated about the last matches against Chennai, and of course, against FC Cup. And now, in this moment, maybe is the reaction with uh, uh, after uh, one month, because the last month, uh, the atmosphere in, in our club was, was uh, very disappointing because, uh, you know, in FC Cup, uh, was thinking we have a great challenge for us and maybe we can reach the the, the, the final and and then you know in this moment uh, now I explode no like now for me it's like a bomb you know it's uh, but uh, because the people don't know me when I reach the hotel when I am alone here in my room after the match <laughs> I'm jumping 20 times you know <laughs> but it's, it's normal uh, but uh, because uh, I know for my players uh, they are working so hard yeah, I know uh, after the, uh, the the two matches, uh, the team was not in good performance. When you have the good scores, you the team is uh, confident. It's my reaction. I know, I know. Um, but I don't know what happened, for example, maybe in two weeks, because maybe in two weeks I say, no, I keep calm, but maybe I <laughs> jump in front of the bench or maybe I don't know. <laughs> it's no, a tip off. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Juan. We absolutely love seeing that because that's what the game is all about. Passion and organic emotions. You wear your heart in your sleeve and we get to see that. I just want to ask you now about the game in particular and one player who turned out to be the game changer, Hugo Bumu. He had a fantastic game. He he basically stepped up and he took his game to another level during that derby. Big game and he came and delivered. How do you ensure, Juan, that players like Bumu deliver in every game? And not just on the big occasions. What? How do you manage a player like Hugo Bumu in order to get the best out of him? Yeah, but again, I think it's uh, all the coaches uh, at the end. Our mentality is uh, is uh, to help the players. You know, to prepare the plan depend of your players. Uh, in my point of view, we have all the time explain. I have a lot of talent in in this squad. Uh, not only the, the foreign players, uh, also in the, in the local players. Uh, at the end, uh, sometimes for me, the most difficult is it's, uh, to find one plan in the same moment, uh, the players to enjoy the football, you know, because uh, sometimes uh, when the coaches decide the plan and uh, thinking about the seriously plan, also I was talking also in the training sessions. For me, when I prepare the training sessions, Basic, basic, basic is uh, the players enjoy, you know, enjoy because uh, if you are not enjoy, we have a problem, you know. And then I think this is the, the, the manager situation. Maybe I don't know, is uh, honestly, I don't know, is the, the best way for the players, or maybe it's the best way because uh, sometimes I'm thinking like other coaches, uh, they are talking about, uh, we are very seriously, very strict with the physical condition, be strict about the tactical position. Okay, uh, it's football. It's necessary to play. Uh, if to play is to take a decision. And, uh, you know, to find the balance, to find the balance. Yeah, at the end, sometimes you find this balance if the players, in the, our case, like Hugo, Dimitris Petratos, uh, Carl, Johnny, Brendan, if, uh, in, in case of foreign players, or also in uh, local players like, uh, like Liston, uh, for example, in our case now with uh, Asike, with, uh, uh, with Rai, as is Rai, if they know about these details, exists one, uh, more or less, exists uh, good feelings on, inside of, it, of the field, you know? Yeah, at the end, it's more easy to manage the situation. It's difficult, eh? It's not so easy because, uh, you know, sometimes uh, exists uh, risk. In our case, for 
example, you know what happened in uh, in transitions because uh, when I you take a decision with all the team is in a, is in the position in attack. Sometimes I'm thinking like, okay, Juan, you are crazy. Sometimes, but uh, in my mind, eh, I'm thinking in the match. But uh, honestly, I think it's much better to run 10 meters and play in attack than to run all the time 45 meters in defense. This is my point of view, okay? Uh, yeah. Then, uh, you know, uh, you can watch uh, 20 years ago, Milan uh, Juventus play the Champions League. They draw 0-0, never play in attack. Okay, in this moment, play net bet, play... This is depend, you know? But this is my yeah. point of view, is to manage the situation, not to find the balance about the... The players at the end, they have confidence, they want to play, they enjoy. He, step and step, this is a, the target like a, like a staff, like, a, of course, like a, me, my position like a head coach. He, I hope uh, at the end, if the players enjoy on the field, the supporters 100% enjoy the match. Is the, This relation exists because when you watch the matches, you know if the players are enjoying the game or not. You know. Yeah. You know, you can see the, fa- the faces, you know, immediately. Yeah. In, yeah. The next elections. Uh, maybe, you know, in, in, uh, in Kochi, for example, Eric, who was in Kochi, when play against yeah. Kerala, the first 10 minutes, what happened? Uh, Kerala played all the time in high pressure for us. We are not yeah. confident in the first 10 minutes. The crowd was very high because they know this feeling. Mm. Kerala is mm. better position. Kerala play in attack. Kerala... I find the spaces. Yeah, the NXT relations. The the supporters yeah. with the team. Everybody's happy. After? Yeah. <laughs> happy. <laughs> but, yeah. No, uh, I, I was just gonna, my, my question for that one, just, just moving on to that, you've obviously got a very good squad and you have a real balance for, for places and a competition for places, sorry. Can you explain how difficult it is to pick that 11 every week and what is that criteria to, to, to pick an 11? Is it... It can't just be footballing talent. They have to obviously understand what you want as a coach, right? To be on that that eleven. Uh, honestly, this is the, the 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 most difficult coach when you take a decision, you know. Um, but uh, what happened here? Uh, for example, is the difference when I work in, in Europe or in Russia, you know, and uh, you can work more in tactical. You can prepare the the, the team more in tactical. Here, for me, this is my feeling, and maybe you can uh, help me because you was played here. Mm. Uh, uh, here in India, exists a lot of emotions in the dressing room. Maybe you prepare one training session, you're going inside the dressing room, and you smell about maybe you think it's necessary to change. Why? Because the, the, the atmosphere, the emotions uh, is different. You know? Yep. Here, for example, uh, you know, when the, 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 the players are happy, you feel immediately the players are happy and maybe you can work in your tactical things, you know? But mm-hmm. sometimes, you know, the, 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 the players are not happy or maybe they are not confident or maybe they are tired, you know? Yeah. And then it's necessary to have plan B, you know? This is sometimes yeah. for me very important uh, when I take the decisions about the, the, the lineups or about in, uh, also in the training sessions, uh, it's very important uh, to know the feelings, the players, you know, here, mm. because uh, the emotions here, it's uh, it's very high, you know. It's uh, yeah. when two or three players, are, they are under pressure. You yeah. immediately know about this. Or, yeah, especially uh, away from home. Away from home, yeah. the players get a bit nervous sometimes. The big crowds too. But you guys yeah. held that together really well against the against the blasters because that's a hard place to go, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here for me is uh, is the big difference than uh, than Europe, you know. Or when you play in, uh, it was for example, you were playing in Scotland, or you play in my case in Spain or in Greece. Uh, you have the plan, and uh, you are working with this plan. Next is a problem. Everybody is more okay. This is the plan. Yeah. We accept the plan and work it. Here sometimes it's necessary uh, control more the emotions, you know, about the dressing room because. Uh, exceeds a lot of uh, inputs inside the dressing room. If, if Honestly, for me, like a coach, this is the most difficult situation when I prepare the lineups, when I prepare the training mm-hmm. sessions, or depend on the, 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 the use some words, you know? Sometimes mm-hmm. uh, for me, I'm crazy. I want to go inside the dressing room and kill two players, but thinking, <laughs> take a breath, 
and uh, and yeah, because for me it's very easy, you know. The plan is very yeah normal. It's, it's my plan. I trust in my plan. It's be clear in my yeah. mind, you know. Yeah. I think yeah. here, uh, honestly, here in India, I I learn a lot about to take a breath. <laughs> Control, <laughs> but also when we have goals, immediately have reaction. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've obviously signed like a big players in in your squad, and one of them is Florentine Pogba, and you've used him um, sporadically, and obviously played Brendan Hamill a little bit more than him in the starting lineup. I know you used him in the AFC Cup as well, but just a word on Florentine's progress. Are you leaving him out of the squad because he's not good enough to play in the eleven, or has he got some concern that we don't know about? Yeah, no, in, in case of uh, Pogba, when he joined with us, uh, you know, uh, uh, for me, we started the, the prepared the FC Cup with uh, with three players, okay, behind Pritam, uh, Suba and Pogba. I use him because he's very confident in build-up, you know, in our position um, when we work in build-up, he's very confident, he never has stress, he's never, he's confident in himself and I like this kind of player. And we started mm-hmm. to play with three for the build-up. What happened? Uh, sometimes in transitions, we have a lot of problems. In the MC Cup, we decide to play with uh, four in defense, Brendan and, uh, and Pogba together. Uh, in league, uh, at the moment, not use him because uh, in, the, in the first lineup, because in the process of the build up, uh, except, except uh, Chennai, uh, sorry, except Kerala was in high press 10, 15 minutes. Uh, Chennai and, uh, and uh, East Bengal never is in high press. And then this is the reason why no use him a lot of time in the lineup because uh, for the for the build up is not necessary, you know. Yep. Uh, also, it's very important with Pogba. For me, I, for example, in the last match, I use him like a double number six, okay? Because in this yep. case, when the opponent decide to play in uh, large ball, he's very good in a uh, in high balls, uh, but uh, this is the plan, you know. This is the plan why you use Pogba, for example, in the start of the season, yeah. and uh, and now, for example, is no moment. Maybe in two weeks he's coming another time. Uh, yeah. You know, sometimes it's necessary to to find the the, the best players. You know, he also honestly, uh, you know, our methodology, our mind of football, our uh, mentality is normal. Use more players. Uh, in attack than in defense. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. And, and, and during that preseason one, obviously you've you've had a couple of bad results in the AFC Cup and the Durand Cup. Now that the team is firing on all cylinders and things are going well, do you look back at that time and think that's where we learned our lessons and that's now how we've progressed because we've learned from everything that went wrong? Well, this question, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> It's difficult because you know, uh, in normal case, in normal case, uh, uh, for example, you have example Manchester United. They lose against Brentford for zero. They draw against uh, Tottenham, and then step and step, win, 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 win. This is the normal progress mentality, and you know, here is very difficult to tell you now. Well, now we are in the maybe yeah. the, the next Sunday we have a problem. Then. Uh, because uh, trust me, if you told to me against Kerala one two five, yeah, my mind no exists. You know, uh, uh, here uh, it's difficult because exists a lot of emotional relations. You know, uh, for me it's very important, more or less. Uh, the team is confident. The team is, is, is they are happy. They enjoy the trainings. If they are in this process, maybe we are very close to win the next match. You know. Yeah. Uh, no exists a relation about if you are happy, you win. If you are upset, no win. No exists this relation. Of course not. Yeah. But we are very more close. If the team more or less exists good relations and they are more happy than uh, in case uh, exists uh, uh, some uh, players disappointing or, uh, you know, and then it's, it's difficult. Every match here is a totally different history. It's different history. And also, is the matches. Sometimes you have the control of the match 75 minutes or 18 minutes. In 10 minutes, change everything. Yeah, you know, uh, for me, for yeah, example, yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes yeah, I watch a lot of games here in ESL. You're thinking more or less, okay, minute 85. Uh, this match is 1-0. It's okay. 
finish. In one moment, check the mobile, say, one, two. What's that? It's no? true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, here it's it's incredible, no? This uh, this mm. this. Yeah. Yeah. For me, this is uh, the big question for me. What happened the next Sunday? Yeah. I don't know. I trust in my team, of course. I I I'm thinking we we are going to Mumbai and uh, and uh, to take three points. But uh, yeah, yeah. Calm. Today training, tomorrow training, and we'll see. No, that makes sense. One, uh, I'm just, uh, you know, remembering that game between uh, Odisha FC and Jamshedpur FC at, at the furnace and, and Jamshedpur was up 2-0. And all of a sudden in the last few minutes, Odisha 3-2. So I completely understand what you mean by results in the uh, Hero ISL being unpredictable. Uh, just want to explore the fact that you you said that it's a lot more emotional over here in the dress room, dressing rooms, right? What do you think is the reason behind that? Is Is it a cultural uh, difference like if you can just uh, speak a little bit more about that yeah i think it's a is a culture you know yeah. uh normal uh, a lot of players uh, in in different leagues in different countries when you are under 12 under 15 under 18 you have pressure in your teams you know yeah uh yeah then what happened here exists more players uh, reach the first team or reach in, uh, in our case in, uh, in the first team if they never play under pressure what happened in this in this moment when uh, when uh, they miss one pass or when they miss one they are totally out two minutes totally out two minutes uh, I remember uh, uh, some matches in my in, in with my experience uh, some players they are out two minutes. They are out two minutes, you know. Or uh, also, you know, the motion. You sometimes you change the system in the moment of you decide one substitution for change the plan. Yeah. And at the end, you have a different plan yeah. because they, they in this moment they trust in themselves. And for example, uh, remember against uh, what was again? against for example in a, in a, in Kerala. We prepare the plan about as is right, go all the time, go inside uh, for the close of the area. And yeah. the last minutes, he was like a winger, also with Amte, you know. He, for me, was like, okay, <laughs> perfect. But yeah. but in this moment, Amte and Rai, what happened? The score is 2-5. They are happy. They are confident. Yeah. And in this moment, uh, as is right, like Ronaldo, you know, take dreams. <laughs> For me, was I'm happy, you know, but yeah. in this moment, you learn about this. It's the pain of the motion, you yeah. know. Yeah. It's the pain of the motion. It's the pain of the feelings. He, of course, it's, it's difficult uh, to work in this way because only the process is when you you had experience like under nine, under twelve, under fifteen, under eighteen competitions. Uh, the the really competitions under uh, eighteen, under nineteen. For example, the last season was the league. Uh, the reserve teams, you know, I think yeah. this is a good experience because at the end, yeah. the players not only learn about football, learn about the atmosphere the dressing room, learn yeah. about the emotions in the match, learn about the timing of the match, because it's not the same when you play in minute five than the minute 65. It's not yeah. the same when you receive one goal in minute five, the first half, than when you receive in the last 10 minutes. Uh, in these things, it's only possible to learn when you yeah. play or when you has experience in, a, yeah. in academies or, you know, mm -hmm. also for the foreign players, maybe it's very difficult yeah. to, because it's not possible to say, okay, no worries, the next time. Yeah, it's only worse, you know, but in, yeah. in, in their self, they know, miss the chance, miss the cross, miss the pass. Maybe it's difficult to, to help the players in this moment. Yeah. Because yeah. if you have two or three players in the same level, you are playing with six players in the field. Right, right. And I think that's where your role as a coach comes in and one is to then calm the players down and know how to get their head straight and like get them back into the game. And I'm sure that's something that you're learning as you go along as, as a coach as well. Uh, but just coming on to now, we we have the, the Hero ISL League Shield, of course, that, that is up for grabs and then the trophy, the Hero ISL Trophy as well. So what would be a successful season for ATK Mohan Bagan according to you at this point of time? <laughs> according to me, I think it's according to the club, it's win everything. 
Yeah. When we have, <laughs> when we have, we have uh, in training center, we have uh, games in training. It's necessary to win. <laughs> but sometimes I explain, it's not possible to win to host games it's, uh, with teams, you know. Uh, here the mentality is win, win, not accept another result. Okay, I, it's, it's good. But uh, honestly, uh, the target of the club is win the trophy, uh, win the championship. Uh, exists uh, the dream to play in Champions League. Uh, I had this experience uh, two years ago, and it's amazing because uh, when you play in Champions League, you play against the best teams in in Asia. Yeah. Uh, this is the target. This is the target. And of course, I I accept this uh, this goal. The players accept this goal, but it's necessary to find the balance about uh, keep calm, game by game. Day by day, all the time explain the same is, okay, everybody wants to win the, the league. Of course, it's normal. But if you want to win the league, you need, firstly, in our case, for example, Mumbai, after Mumbai, Northeast, after Northeast, Goa, after step and step. It's not possible to say, I want to win the win and the league and the alley, you know. Uh, yeah. This is the, our target. Yeah, Juan, you're still, you're still a very young man. And uh, you've obviously coached for, what, 20-odd years now. So you've had a lot of experience across, you know, Europe with, with Sirius Ball and Europa League. And I'm sure there's healthy respect for all the coaches in the, in the Hero Indian Super League. But if I had to ask you to pick one coach that you're really impressed with or one that you could learn from, who would that coach be? Uh, you know, sometimes it's, it's uh, when... Uh... For me, when uh, when 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 we are uh, have a games, you know, for me, uh, I like uh, the the proposals of the other coaches, you know, because all the time for me is like uh, one opportunity to learn about me, you know. Sometimes uh, when the the, the opponents uh, decide, uh, for example, the line defense very close uh, the the half of the pitch, or when the the opponent decide to the close to the box in defense. For me, all the time is a is a good opportunity. It's uh, I like you know because here in in India a lot of there are different styles. It's incredible, you know. More or less, when you play in a Spanish league, everybody yeah. more or less have the same style. You know the opponents, or uh, uh, when you are in uh, also in Greece is the same, or when you are in Russia. Mono, but here in India, one day you need to play against, uh, for example, Bengaluru this season is totally different when you play against Hyderabad. And then what happened? You need in two or three days, prepare your team for this plan. I like the challenge. I like so much, mm. but sometimes I'm disappointing because I have, for me, I like to work six hours with the team, but it's impossible because maybe the players <laughs> in, in, <laughs> in into the <laughs> But uh, uh, sometimes I'm talking with my, my staff about, uh, uh, I'm, I'm happy, no? Because we can learn a lot of things about this. But also in the same moment, is is different. He, for me, I, I love all the coaches in this case because all the, everybody has different proposal, uh, different things, different styles. And at the end, if I am thinking in myself, it's good because I need to read immediately about uh, what happened of course, at the end, you learn a lot about the, the, the process of the training, okay? I'm yeah. talking about the football, football, okay? Then exist uh, extra footballs about uh, maybe you not change your style, maybe it's necessary to change your style, maybe, you know, you have three players are disappointing for uh, it's necessary to change these players and change the style, you know? It's... Uh, yeah. Depend. For example, the last season, um, one moment, Cal... Uh, was injury and we play like midfielders Tangri and Lenny of course for the build up was very difficult but in this moment we need to change the the, 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 the process of the build up you know sometimes it's necessary to play with these things you know but uh, mm. honestly for me I think it's a, it's a good you know when it exists a different styles different coaches because it's very difficult to explain oh I like this coach for yeah. this reason and of course, everybody knows what happened in dressing rooms. This is very yeah, important, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, because <laughs> we can talk now about, uh, for example, Hyderabad. No, because, oh, Manolo Market is good because uh, he won the trophy. He continued the same level, the process. But maybe the dressing room of Hyderabad is amazing. Maybe it's sure, no, because uh, you know the results. Yeah. Uh, you know, 
but uh, two seasons ago, the first season in uh, I remember the Bio Bubble in Odisha, uh, I know everybody exists problems in dressing rooms, and then yeah, maybe the style is depend of the gut, you know. It's just yes, the truth. yes, yes, yes. And then it's I think it's necessary necessary to learn about uh, everything, you know. So now we know who and that you're someone who then absorbs something from all managers, and that's something we've inferred from your answer. So we're not going to press you further on who is the one manager that you seek inspiration from. But if I could ask you, is there a particular team that you've been impressed by apart from, of course, your own team? Uh, is there any other team that you'd pick this season who you look at and say, wow, they, they've got something about them? Honestly, to decide about uh, one team, it's difficult in this situation, in this moment, because everybody played for or less three, four matches. Uh, of course, I think uh, the... the in this moment, the best team is uh, is Hyderabad because they are working in the same level, in the same way. I think uh, this is why the reason has success. Maybe we need to learn about Hyderabad, you know, because if the process is like Premier League. One manager worked two, three years, uh, only changed some pieces, some players. Uh, you know, I think it's good. Honestly, the second uh, Odisha, the start of the season of the Odisha is, is, is very good. And uh, and then, of course, then for me, we'll be surprised because the squad of Bengaluru is, is very good. And for me, in, at the end of the season, maybe Bengaluru will be in the top three. Uh, then, uh, for example, we'll see with uh, Jan Hespur because uh, more or less they continue in the same squad. They have very players are very aggressive, bodies. Here, mm. I think it's we'll see what happens. He, of course, uh, the next is a uh, team with a new squad, but very good squad, you know, about Goa, uh, Kerala. I think everybody is incredible with Ivan, with the Mantacos. Uh, I think with step and step, game by game, exists this, uh, these players, they are uh, connected with the rest of the teammates. Take care, yeah. you know, because I think it's. Uh, yeah. We'll see what happens, you know, uh, my, my, my point of view like this. He, of course, the Northeast, I'm very disappointed because the best player, the French player now is injury. I like so much. I watched the last first games. I like so much. I was discussing with my staff, say this player for me will be the best players, foreign players. But now he has injury. And, and uh, oh, I think it's uh, very disappointing about this, this situation, you know, but... Because for me, it's very similar like uh, Gallego. You remember, no? When he was playing yeah. there. He's a good number 10. He's very good in uh, between lines. Uh, he's very good in process of the build-up. But now we'll see, no? Because I think it's, uh, it's difficult for, uh, yeah. for the jury and, and we'll see. But uh, I think after the 6-7 match, You'll be in a better we, know, we know the really, uh, <laughs> the really situation. Yeah. But I hope we yeah, are... I we are in I, I agree it's okay. yeah I think you guys will be fine one um I, I can see that on the sideline and when I've seen you in in person you're a you're a big thinker you love football you love to think about football plan things is there any way or any part of the day where you're not thinking about football or do you take a day off or does it really just take over your life because you, you love the game so much honestly you know what happened now I prepare the training Champions League in Europe uh, then uh, watch the games uh, watch the uh, honestly my mind makes is the offs honestly you know like uh, like a coach all the time the day off is to time to prepare everything to prepare the the, the, uh, the next trainings that to prepare but for me it's not a problem you know I love football I, yeah. uh, only only I'm disappointing because I prefer to play like to be a coach, <laughs> the truth. Yeah, this is the truth. Because when I was in Kochi, or for example, the last game here in a, in a, in a, uh, here in Kolkata, uh, in one moment I was outside and thinking, okay, yeah, you know, yeah. Let me take out. <laughs> you know, <It's> like, <laughs> uh, this is uh, this is in my mind thinking because yeah. I love to play football. I love uh, this game for me. 19% of my life is football, you know, and then uh, 
this is amazing. But uh, for me, it's not a problem when uh, we are talking about, uh, oh, we need to prepare the training, so we need, no, no, no. The problem, the really problem for the coach is to take a decision for the lineup because I know what happened in the mind of the players out of the squad or the players in the bench. I know because I feel the same. It's sometimes, it's, you know, this is yeah. the moment, like, uh, don't lie. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I prefer the my owner come here and decide the lineup. And <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, this is the, the truth. This is the worst. But the other things to prepare the trainings, go training sessions. Uh, sometimes uh, my staff is told to me about, hey, hey, Juan, stop, stop. You know, it's uh, yeah, 10 minutes of exercise. Because forget, forget. I enjoy, I enjoy a lot, enjoy a lot. When I'm yeah. here in the room, uh, Super Sunday, the Premier League. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Israel. Sometimes morning, you know, in Australia League, uh, because uh, here at twelve o'clock you can watch the match of the in Australia. Uh, yeah. Finish the day with the Spanish League, German League, and uh, Champions League. You have football twenty-four hours. I, it's amazing. Yeah. Amazing, mate. With, with which game are you looking forward to watching the most in the Champions League tonight, Juan? Today play Barcelona against Victoria. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I try to learn. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I'll tell you what, one. It's been a great learning experience for me personally. It's, it, we've been talking for about thirty-eight minutes so far, but each minute it feels like a football education. Uh, I don't know about you, Eric, but I mean, yeah, I, I, absolutely. I, I've just come away learning so much more about how you think, Juan, and how you approach the game and how you view the game. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us and for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure. Eric, some parting words for Juan? Yeah, Juan, it's been a pleasure as well. Just, yeah, echo Siyash's thoughts there. Just nice to hear how a coach thinks. And because we don't, we don't get to interview you in a space like this usually. It's, you know, in the heat of the moment. And I know you like to analyze your, your team's performance before you get to, to speak to us so it's just nice to have a relaxed chat with you and uh yeah good luck for the season and the game against uh, mumbai on the weekend okay thank you thank you i i hope the next uh, sunday we enjoy and i take care about my celebrations <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 keep going that way keep going don't change anything about it one don't change a thing yeah. thank, thank you so much for joining us and have a good week all the best for the weekend thank you thank you so much thank you thank you so much Right then, that was Juan Fernando, Eric Partelou. Uh, I said it all. I mean, uh, it, it didn't feel like we'd been talking for 38 minutes, right? It just uh, went by pretty yeah. quickly. Yeah, it was a good chat, actually. It's it's nice to have these chats because you see that personal side to the coaches. And yeah. you can always yeah. tell people that you know have come to the country and, and are serious about changing football yeah. in the country. And, and Juan Fernando is one of those guys. You can see... His effort, he wants to change the, the the playing style or try and develop Indian players. He's not come here just to, to 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 be a coach. He wants to always improve himself, and it's nice that he's using ATK Mohan Bagan as a platform. So, uh, but interesting to see now how that how they do because uh, they've obviously learned a lot of lessons from being knocked out of the AFC Cup and Duran Cup, and I think a lot of pressure was on him. Um, but now the way that they're performing. Um, you can see it's been a great decision that, you know, Juan's being given more time to, to develop this squad because he hadn't had that much time, didn't have a full preseason before. Um, and you can see the team now on paper is probably top two in the league. Yeah, yeah on that note, Eric, let's just have the upcoming fixtures for the, for the game week come up onto the screen. And what's the game that you're looking forward to to play out the most? Well, obviously, the, the, the last one, Mumbai and ATK, Lauren Begun. That's uh, going to be a cracker of a game, obviously. I think um, two teams that will be right up there at the end of the season and two young coaches that, again, are here to, you know, really develop football and earn their stripes. So they're motivated as well for different reasons. And, um, you know, whoever goes and wins this game could be, could be one of those teams that breaks away. And one, one's right. After six or seven games, we'll get a, a better reflection um, of, of the league table. So around about, you know, two or three games from now, if, you know, ATK Mombagan could win that game, for, for example, they could possibly, you know, break away from everybody. Yeah, no, it'll be fascinating to see how that plays out and how the rest of the game weeks also uh, play out. Eric, uh, so thank you so much for your time. Oops, there you go. Uh, 
You trying to fish for <laughs> something on the screen? <laughs> there we go. No, no, we're almost done. We're almost done, Eric. It's all right. Uh, but no, thank you for your time as well. Uh, your uh, first appearance on the Let's Football Live show. And we had a great chat as well. Hope to see a lot more of you in the coming weeks as well. And uh, just a, a side note on your team of the week. I think a lot of people uh, liked how it was set up, especially the three-five-two formation. So we'll we'll get your views on that going forward as well, and maybe more teams of the week coming from you uh, in the weeks sure. to come. Yeah. Sure. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Eric. And uh, thank you to everyone who tuned in to the Let's Football Live show. We, of course, do this every Tuesday, normally at 7 p.m., but uh, Juan Ferrando was uh, at training and he had a bunch to do. So we pushed it to 8.30 this week. Uh, we'll be back at 7 p.m. the following week. Until then, it's goodbye from me and Eric Partelou. Take care. And Jim Shipford have won the Hero ISL. Hachibad are the Hero of Indian Super League champion.